What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another 30 day fishing challenge episode. It's been a bit of a morning. So I'm at a new lake. I've never fished here before. The launch is obviously very sketchy. That's as deep as I could get the trailer. Kind of tough getting it off. Also, somehow when I got here I kind of came down this road a little bit started backing up and I wasn't really paying much attention and I completely jackknifed the trailer and almost flipped the boat over so you can see that the trailer is pretty bent up. Easy fix, easy fix. I'm just hoping I can actually make it out here to the actual lake so I'm all the way on the upper end. This is the only launch on the lake. I really doubt there's many people that fish here because this launch is so sketchy. So I've heard there's good fish in here. I don't know what to expect. Hopefully we can get out here and catch some donkeys though. All right, we got some flowage. I think we're good. Bit of a roadblock situation. I think we're good. Well, somehow miraculously we made it out to the main lake, so figured it's probably time to start fishing. I'm gonna pick up a buzz bait and just kind of work around with some top waters. I might throw a frog a little bit. Just move some water. I've never been here. That's the first thing I think that's important when you're on a new body of water. First, get on the water, obviously, you know, make it through crazy stuff like this, and then get to fishing. So, just gonna move water, see what they want, see what the fish are reacting to. I've seen a little bit of top water action, but again, I'm all the way up lake, like three feet of water right here, four. That's the deepest I've seen, too, 3.7. Water temperature is 72 degrees. Since I launched up here, like in this creek, I'm sure. It it was a lot colder. I had to get in for a little bit and it was very cold. Water is stained. I think we gotta get out to the deeper water. At least close to the deeper water. Should we go venture back there? I think we should. Man. Alright, we gotta try flipping a jig. They just probably been throwing this buzz bait for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. They no likey! Definitely fish. They're just suspended out here. It's going to be kind of hard to catch them like that when it's this muddy. Turtle. Okay. Chatterbait time. Alright guys, so we switched up to the Jackal Iobi Frog. It's black and purple. I really like throwing really dark topwaters just in general. I think it silhouettes really well. Helps the fish see it. But I saw a couple fish up in the grass kind of moving around the stalks, so my idea here is just to throw this thing way up against the bank and work it out. See if I can get anything that way. All right, guess we'll try a Texas rig. Man, this is tough. I'm gonna fish for like another 20 minutes. If I don't get bit, I'm gonna run over to another lake. This is super tough. I haven't even had a bite in three hours. I haven't really seen all that much action either. As much as I want to stay and try to figure it out, I think this, I think that these fish are just kind of blown out. I don't know. This place is probably not this dirty most of the time and not this high. So I think this is just the same kind of deal as the tournament last week. And it's going to be tough. I'm having a hard time figuring them out. What the heck? I don't know. Beats me. Couldn't get your bass boat back here. So, we're gonna move lakes. I fished here for four hours, not a single bite. And normally I like to tough it out and kind of figure something out, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. I don't know if this place is up super high due to all the rain, and it's super dirty. I don't know if these fish are just completely shocked. The water was only like 73 degrees too, so that could have dropped 15 degrees, just like the rest, just like what happened on Sunday. So, I'm not exactly sure, but I definitely want to go check another spot out. It's like 20 minutes away, so probably be able to spend like two hours there. I want to catch some fish for you guys, and a little bit for myself too. Let's go. All right, well, the good news is we made it to the second lake. Bad news is it looks exactly the same. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I was hoping it was going to be just a little bit cleaner because this lake is a lot bigger. It's like two or three times the size of the other one. But it ain't. And it also looks like the water was really high up too. You can see it on the tree line. So right now my plan is to 
to run down towards the dam. There's a really big creek down there that generally has a little bit cleaner water. So I'm gonna go try that first. If that doesn't work, then I'm gonna work my way back up and just really pay attention to all the cover. Flip a bunch of trees, just try to find anything that's relating to this wood. There's a ton of timber out here, like standing timber, and even further up lake, there's more. So we'll see. Hopefully this can turn our day around, boys. Tough fishing. What the hell? Just had a little bass eat right on top next to my rod. I doubt there's much I can really fish on this except like a jig. Because there's so much in the water. But we'll see. We're going to try it. Hopefully that jig's breaking through all that. Looks like it is, maybe. Well, I don't even know what to say. I cannot find the fish. Not a single bite all day. It's been six and a half hours, and it's just tough. I don't know what to do. I'm throwing a chatterbait, I'm throwing a jig, Texas rig with probably four different plastics, a crankbait, frog. Just can't find them one of those days. I think this might be the first day on the 30 day challenge that I legit got skunked. Like went out for a full day and did not even get a bite. I don't know. I still have probably 30 minutes left. Hopefully we can find one that'll eat. That'd be pretty cool. Whoa, okay. Lightning. I'm gonna get off the water now. It's a fun day. Guess I'll just fish my way in. Why not? I'm gonna get hit by lightning. I'm gonna get hit by lightning, right? Jesus. I came out of nowhere. Last cast. Those are some big raindrops. So much for uh, drying out the carpet. Yeah. Pretty tough day, I'm still scratching my head. Zero bites for like eight hours on the water. It was pretty rough and it sucks posting videos with no fish, but it is the 30 day challenge. I had to make something of it. But let me know what you guys would have done in that situation. Super high water, probably dropped to like 10 to 15 degrees in temperature. Chocolate milk, a bunch of crap everywhere. Just tough to fish. I tried a lot, I fished deep fish shallow, 10 different baits, 15 different baits, two different lakes. I tried, that's it, it was tough, but I don't know. Don't know what else to say about that day, it just, it is what it is. Hope you guys are looking forward to tomorrow, or I guess today as I'm filming this outro. We did catch some fish, it was a fun time. I took over Mystery Tackle Box's Instagram, it was a lot of fun. Really cool to do that. Also, I'm doing a giveaway for a six month Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box, if you guys Go over to Mystery Tackle Box's Instagram. You can see a fish that I caught. Guess the weight of that in tomorrow's video. First person to guess the correct weight wins six months free Mystery Tackle Box Pro. So make sure you go check that out. I'm done for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. We'll see you tomorrow.